What's up guys, welcome back to the Casual Critic YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video. I just got back from watching everything everywhere all at once. I had to drive a total of three hours to watch this movie. I had to drive an hour and a half to get there and an hour and a half back because they were not playing this in my local theater. I've been wanting to see this movie. They just weren't going to play it. I know it's had like different times of release in America and different parts of the country. It's very like specific to where you're located at, like if it gets released in your theater and when. Um, my theater here in town was playing trailers of it, but they still haven't played it. Um, and I was going to wait and hold out and see if maybe they play it here locally or I was just going to wait until it came on streaming or DVD or whatever because I really wanted to see it. And what pushed me over the edge to drive three hours in total to watch it was I saw this interview clip. I think it was on TikTok of the main lady who was in it. And she was doing this interview and she was getting very emotional about how like she was just so honored to be chosen for this role to you know really showcase what she's capable of. And she was getting emotional because she's very passionate about this movie. And that pushed me to go watch it just, just to drive and spend that gas money. We all know how the gas money is right now. Um, but that pushed me to go watch it. And I am so glad that I did not wait. I am not going to say anything about this movie as far as the story and what happens. I would hate it if someone watched my video before they watched the movie. And I, I, do, I want anyone that watches the movie because they watched my review or, you know, because I said it was a good movie. Because it is a good movie. It's a fucking great movie. I don't want to spoil anything. I want your mind to be completely blank. You, your mind, don't look up anything. Also, don't order food and drinks. I went to the bathroom once and I felt terrible. And I don't know what I missed. And God knows I missed something. But don't order anything. Just sit down. Just sit down and let the movie feed you. I have never felt so satisfied leaving a movie theater. And I that's serious. That is not an exaggeration. I have I felt fed. My mind, my heart, my soul, my body felt fed, satisfied, leaving, walking up and leaving that theater. This movie is one of the best movies I've ever seen by far. It's got to be my top 10. It has to be. It has to be my top 10. I don't know where I'd rank it. But it's so good. Everything about it. This movie is perfect. There's not one single thing I would change about this movie. Um, it's two hours and 20 minutes long. It does not feel like that at all. It has some of the coolest action sequences I've seen ever. Forget Marvel. Forget superhero movies. DC movies. Forget it. Forget the Batman. Forget it. Forget it. This has been my favorite movie so far this year. Now, I haven't watched The Northman. I know everybody's hyped. I'm hyped too. I haven't seen it yet. It's not out. But, and I'm, this is including The Batman, everything else. This is by far, by far, my favorite movie of this year, okay, up to this point. And I'm including The Batman. I saw The Batman three times in theaters. Will I be able to see this one three times in theaters? No, but if this was playing locally, you best believe I would be there to see it. And if they decide to play it here, because a lot of times they'll do that, like at my local theater, they'll wait for like two or three weeks and then put it out for some reason. I don't fucking know. Um, but if they do that, I will be going back for sure. Um, the directing is insane. Everything about this movie is insane. It is insane. You just need to experience this movie and go see it in the theater, if at all possible. If it is playing somewhere remotely close to you, even if it's kind of a drop, it is 1,000% worth the drop if you have to. Go see this in the theater. Of course, when it comes out like on streaming or DVD or whatever, I'm going to be about it and watch it at my house. But seeing this in the theater and the sound and the image and everything in the big screen, it is an experience experience to watch this movie in the theater and I was so blessed that I had a very good theater atmosphere everyone was quiet respectful and it was it was just great um also this movie is hilarious I was not expecting that at all this movie is genuinely fucking hilarious and it's not like the cringy like oh I'm laughing because it's kind of funny but not really it's so Funny. It's so funny. And the story. Oh, it's so, it's just so good. This movie's fucking perfect. I cried 
And and the story is like it's like crazy. Don't get me wrong. It's so crazy. It's about the multiverse. If you don't know, which if you've seen anything about this movie, you know that it's about the multiverse. Um. So of course it's like insane, and it's a little complicated, but they explain it in the best way possible. And you might come away from it still being a little confused, but in my opinion, that's okay. That's okay. I, my little brain is not supposed to understand everything about the multiverse, okay? And I know this is a fictional movie and a fictional story, but I'm maybe I'm not supposed to, and that's okay. And I'm not I'm not uh, putting any negativity on the movie for that. Um, but for the most part, it's explained as well as it can be. And it makes sense. But the story, it's more about the multiverse. It's about family. And it's about LGBTQ plus issues, bitch, which I did not know. Ugh. And it's so relatable. It's so relatable, which is crazy because this is one of the most insane stories I've ever seen. But it's very relatable. And I cried at the end. And I cried and I cried and I cried real hard. And I hope nobody heard me. They made a Ratatouille joke. Mm-hmm. You could say it would be easier to tell you what they didn't do in this movie versus what they did do. This movie has so much. It is jam-packed every single second. Every second. Every frame is used to just... Excuse me, microphone. To just... In your face. It's just puking in your face, but it's puking in the most beautiful way. The soundtrack... Shut up, shut up, shut up. The soundtrack is so good. The acting is incredible. Did you know the guy that plays the husband is the kid from Indiana Jones? Yeah. Yeah. And the Goonies. Yeah. Everybody in this was amazing. There was not one person lacking. Jamie Lee Curtis is hilarious and awesome. And I just love this movie so fucking much. The writing, incredible. Music, incredible. The action sequences are better than superhero movies, and I will take that to my grave. I absolutely, I just love this movie. I, there were several times where my jaw was just on my chest, like, mouth fully open, could not believe what I was seeing. It was so fucking cool. Oh, I just love this movie. This is a great movie. The hype around this, I've been seeing a lot of it just on, you know, like Instagram because I'm on movie uh, news, Instagram, and whatever. The hype around this movie is 1,000% worth it, if not more. If I could give this movie like a 17,000 out of 5 stars, I would. Yeah. I'm very excited. I literally just got home. I walked in the door after driving for an hour and a half, and I sat down right here. I did say hello to my dog, and I sat down right here. I love this movie. Go see this movie. Please tell me what you thought about this movie. Tell me your favorite parts. If you've seen this, please tell me your favorite parts in the comments, because I have so many. There's too many to count. There's a scene. I don't want to say anything. I mean, it's not. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I can't even say it. There's so many. There are so many things you can pick out from this movie and be like, now that was cool. The whole thing is just cool. The whole thing, there's not one second that's lacking. There's not one second where I'm not. Oh my God. I love this movie. Please tell me your favorite parts. If you've seen this, I beg you. I want to talk about this movie with other people. And if you haven't seen this yet and you're waiting for, you know, maybe for it to play more locally or to come on streaming, don't wait. Don't wait. Please just go watch it. I love it. I love everything about it. I rate this obviously a 5 out of 5. Like I said, if I could rate it more than that out of 5, I would. But everything about this is perfect. Let me know what you thought about it. If you've seen it, if you haven't, take care of that. In the description, you will find my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok. Go follow me on all those social media platforms. And I would really appreciate it if you were to subscribe to this channel. Over 70% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. And that is dumb and weird. And I don't know what's going on. So just subscribe to the channel. And I guess I'll see y'all. Oh, I have a podcast. I'm sorry, I forgot. I have a podcast called The Casual Critic. I might do a spoiler. I might do a spoiler review podcast episode for just this movie. Because I love it and I want to talk in depth. Anyway, I have a podcast that comes out every Saturday called The Casual Critic that's on Anchor, Spotify, and Apple that you can go check out. So please do and I'll see y'all in the next review. Go watch this fucking movie. Just please. Please go watch this movie. Okay, bye. (laughs)